What's going on everyone? Black Smoke Customs back here. So I've kind of got this Peterbilt, a little bit of a mock-up done on it. Going to kind of go over and show you how uh, some of the parts and pieces are going. Um, we got our mirrors made. Of course, everything's still in rough form. Uh, I'm going to slide this out some so you can, I can get a better shot on the camera on everything. Um, what I've done, this is something I've started doing on my brass work as far as holding the tanks because I've used um, C-channel in the past and I, I really wasn't really happy with it. Uh, I think the blue truck has got them. Yeah, you can look underneath the blue truck here. When I done this, I used a piece of C-channel. And then I taped off and painted the straps on. So these are painted on here. And I wasn't real happy with that design. Like I said, that truck was the original truck. Where this truck, these are not painted on. They're, they're, I've made brass brackets for this. And I soldered it to this plate, which hides everything. And then, of course, on the bottom, let me slide this up a little bit. On the bottom, you can see I put my filler for my tanks. So what I've got on this truck, it's always something I'm trying to learn and trying to figure out something different. Um, on this truck, I made some C channel, which is a piece of rectangle uh, tubing, and I've machined it down and I made my rings for my straps, soldered them in. And then my tanks, of course now when I solder everything, I come back in here with a, with a sanding wheel and sand the inside and just kind of, everything's in rough fashion. I mean, there's a lot of prep work that still will go into this, but I've machined my tanks down, turned them into lathe. And so now my tanks move back and forth. Um, now when I paint this, of course they are, they're pretty tight. There's not a lot of wiggle room in it. But when I paint these, paint all this, this and get cleared, of course it gets primed, print, painted and cleared. This will get a lot tighter. And what I will do before I go to do any of this, I want a little bit of slack in this because I want to be able to slide my tanks in um, what I and I don't want to scratch them because when I polish them It's not hard to scratch this up and get it uh, skin up so I've made both of my pieces here, and this was a pretty easy way of making these Brackets for this and what I've done to the truck Is on my stretch I've figured out where my bunk was gonna set on the truck. And of course on the back, the deck plate runs up to it. Um, of course, it, it's got to scoop forward just a little bit, but because everything's still in fab mode, you know, it's, it's a little bit just loose and everything. So, now what I've done is also, so on the back, I figured out where my bracket was gonna be. And what I've done is come in here and cut my brass from my stretch so that this, when I build this, it will butt up to that. Therefore, once your space is right on your tank, then it all centers up and your straps are where they're supposed to be. 
Now what I think I'm going to do, because a customer wants um, just some odd and end stuff done to it, what I think I'm going to do is come on the back side and I'm going to build my piece and I may take a piece of um, 12 thousandths or something like that. I have um, brass strip just like this stainless. It's a it's a half inch wide. But the thing is, it's not wide enough for my brackets. My brackets are three quarters wide because that's what a DCP measures out from here to here. So. <clears throat> I, I've I come up with that dimension off of a DCP tank to kind of make them look similar. But what I think I'm going to do is take like this, which is, uh, I think it's 12 or 10 thousandths. And so what I will do is build me a U-shaped bracket so that... It, it'll be like a big piece of C-channel. So if you took this C-channel and you imagine you have a tank here and a tank bracket here. So technically, this would be just as wide as a frame. And then I will come in here and solder this. And I can adjust my height. Once I figure my height on my tanks, I can adjust my height on that. And then once I get the the C channel made, the width of the frame, I can come in here and once I get all that soldered and it sets up on inside the frame rails and the frame rails hit, and what I will have to do, this, this truck is not glued together, but what I will have to do is make sure that the bottom of the truck, there is room to move it up and down. Um, once I get all that adjusted and set, then I will come back and do a filler panel between the tanks and I can solder it from inside the seam, kind of like these fenders. Of course, these are still in rough form, but you kind of get an idea. So like, uh, you would, this would be your C channel here that would set up into the truck then you make your filler piece and then you can come in here and solder all this on the inside. So when you turn it around, it's clean. So that's where I'm at on these tanks. I've still got to machine my steps. Um, I've kind of worked on some stacks. This is uh, kind of what it's gonna look like. I'm not sure if I will go to a slash cut chino style stack, but I've bent my 90 in to my aluminum here to give it a one piece system. And what I do here um, is I will bend these, figure out once you're, you're, you got your other side I'll figure that out and then I'll figure my distance of my cab and then if I had to come in here and cut this I can you know you'll have another one just like it I can put a slug inside of it of a piece of uh, solder and glue it back together and put it back together and it looks like a solid piece then I can buff it all out sand it up clean it up and it looks like a full one-piece system the mirrors I got the mirrors done Changed them up a little bit. Um, well, I can take the cab off. It's no big deal. Of course, these are still in rough form. Um, but that's kind of the mirror that I wanted. Uh, I think once they're cleaned up and everything's done, I think they'll look, turn out pretty nice because it, you know, it it's got the same pattern here. Um, and then I will come in here and did the top post. I didn't want to do the, the bottom post. Um, I'll fill this in. Of course, I'll fill in my old stack hose, but that's kind of the look I wanted. Uh, not sure if I'll keep them or not. 
I may go to a different style, may just unsolder this, or I may keep these because they'll fit any Peterbilt truck. Um, but they're different. I mean, you know, with the truck, um, as it gets farther along, I will mock everything up, put everything together, and then I'm gonna take off the tripod. And then, um, you know, it, it will, let me set you down for a second. Put the bump, this is not the bumper that I'm using, but it kind of gives me an idea of the look. So, that's kind of what the truck's looking like. Um, of course, it'll have the stack on it here. And it's set right in there. So that kind of gives you the idea of what the truck's looking like. But I still got to get the tanks mounted. I'll machine my steps in, get them. I'm going to try to make some breathers for it. Um, <coughs> here's a breather that I made. Let me get this breather off. Uh, this is a breather that I made. I don't know if I can get this on this truck. No, it's not gonna go. Hold on, let me put it back on the truck that it originally went on. This is a truck that I'm working on. That's it's a stock paint job, um, but. It's dirty, but that's the breather that I made for it. It's got a lot of brass work on it. Uh, it's got the flip bumper on it. That flips up, let me get something. Bumper flips up on it. It's still in progress. Uh, the stacks. These are the stacks, or sort of chino stacks. Hold on, I'll put them on. Hold on. And this truck has mirrors on it also. Um, well, there you go. Get on there. There's the stacks that are going. They'll be. I'm gonna paint them black. Um, but it's got it's got a set of aftermarket mirrors on it, and I come up with that design there because kind of in the back, how all them sh uh, work is going for it. Um, it's got a lot of kind of a lead sled, old school, just beater. Um, the cab was. When it's clean, it's in really good shape. It's got a lot of, like, the paint's kind of got some issues with it, but I think it'll work. I'm not concerned about it because it's, you know, it's still just an old school truck. So it's got some more stuff that'll be done to it. It'll eventually get finished. Uh, I've got plenty of projects, but it's got the 579 that I'm still working on. I'm really debating on what I'm going to do to it. It's just really bothered me. So, and then something else. I haven't showed y'all this. I'm not, I'm not going to be much longer, but um, I bought these little pieces here back at last year. They're Tootsies. And I'm real big on trying to come up you know creative ideas and everything and i think with this truck i'm gonna lop the bed off and so all i wanted was just the cab and it's kind of spaceshipy looking but i think if you cut the fender wells out put it on the frame i think i'm gonna put a grain trailer behind it and then this it's a oh i think it's a chevrolet or it's a ford one i'm not sure what it is but this will get the fender wells opened up. I'll put some glass in the interior. And I'm probably going to do just a really cool paint job on that. Just put some real fat wheels up underneath it and just slam it. So that's kind of the project for that. And then I've got this little 
semi or a cement truck and I'm gonna put a set of DCP wheels on it floats up front may put a I don't know but it'll get it repainted but I thought it was pretty cool I mean for what I paid for them they weren't much so you're always coming up with something to come up with so but that's gonna do it for tonight guys so uh try to make it as short as I can but that's kind of what I'm going for that'll be the steps like this which will be on this truck um, it's still in the fab form so I'm gonna get out of here hope y'all have had a good uh, weekend so far and I will talk to y'all later